Hello guys, I am Shane Davis, 20-year comic book veteran here with a beautiful, lovely, sometimes she has been known to make this here man a sandwich wife of mine, light of my life, Yonzi Lynn. Hi. And today is the day we're talking a little bit about Decimated DC once again as uh, they're going straight to esports to uh, sell comics. So here we go. So Yanzi Lin brought this to my attention. She was like, have you seen these horrible, horrible dialogue balloons in a Batman comic? And we started looking into it. And obviously, it's a poorly written book. Okay. Now, this is a esports group called uh, FaZe Clan. And this is a crossover with Batman. Why Batman? Because it's the only thing DC Comics can sell. And we're going to talk a little bit about this but before we do please look down below hit like subscribe ring that bell for notifications help the channel out share the video why don't you all right so first off um i'm going to speak about my experience at dc comics and what that entails is there used to be a division of dc comics where if you pay, it's kind of pay to play i hate to use that term here but why not it's bidding where you're, if you're a company, you can come in and you can pay X amount of money and you can get a comic book that basically um, they'll rent out Batman comic to you and uh, you can put your product in there. Now, obviously, this would happen with maybe like uh, M&Ms or, you know, a car company or you're something talking like about that. like the Snicker advertisements that have been happening? No, these would be what? specific. That is the same group, but these would be specifically like kind of hand out comics for an event or something like that. They did one with uh, LeBron James drawn by Damian Scott, and they were handed out at, or sold at NBA games. It was a special division of DC Comics, basically had one editor at the time. That's what they did. Um, and I would get called. I think I turned down the job one time. It was a really weird. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was a car company wanting a comic this is basically it that's all you need to know this is uh basically an esports team the face clan coming in paying to get a crafted comic by dc comics and we'll talk a little bit why dc comics would want to do things like this but as we can see tell us a little bit about phase you know when you talk about esports i can think about this wasn't there this guy who came in from esports really big name and said that he's gonna oh. steer dc in a whole new direction Damn. bring them up to the global marketplace and be the shining beacon yeah. for the whole yeah, world and yeah. it's like what, what happened to that guy what's his uh, name again yeah daniel cherry yeah oh. he's a lot like the captain uh from the titanic steer the boat into a iceberg and and be the first one off the boat he is not a captain that goes down with the ship. Uh, he was a, I would say, an opportunist um, corporate guy that used to work for Red Bull, esports, Nike, whatever paid the bills, basically. He was your guy. And uh, he floated into DC Comics, made a reference that his dad really liked comics, but he was going to steer things into a new direction with diversity and whatnot. And uh, he was there during the AT&T era which is really not going to be anymore because AT&T unloaded Warner Brothers and DC Comics and all of that stuff to Discovery. And off is Daniel Cherry. At one time, they said he was uh, going to work for Kanye West, but it turns out he's working for Adidas, Adidas <laughs> to some, because uh, I, I just want to give him a, a leg up. I was like, dude, I, if I could get you in Adidas, will you leave DC Comics? And he's like, sure, Shane, why not? So anyways... This obviously is a deal that was a Daniel Cherry deal. He thought like esports was going to bring people into comics. And what probably is more or less likely is this is kind of like geek clout. Pay a little bit and uh, get a comic book. And all of a sudden you're telling Batman how to fight crime because you're that cool of a gamer. Right. Whoa, whoa, because whoa. You look, at, look at this stuff. So they the, even managed to get the Batman logo on their shirts now. So right. Look at that. So they paid a pretty penny to get involved with merchandising with DC Comics. Not just that, too. They also paid money to have tie-ins with Manchester City Football well, Club. So right, obviously, right. they're stringing the door to get involved in all these big well, brands to get recognition. In the case of DC Comics and Batman, which is the only thing DC Comics has that you would license out is Batman. Like, DC Comics probably thinks, oh my God, their audience will become my audience. Like, people will discover Batman and think Batman's cool because these guys uh, slapped a Batman logo on um, their, their, their VR headsets here. So now their audience... So I'm not so sure if DC Comics didn't think this would bring them some sort of growth. Now, DC Comics has had success with some digital comics that were video game related. And interesting enough, I think the number one digital comic ever selling 
was, uh, I think, uh, Injustice. But it was actually covering a lot of the story that never that was uh, off screen in the video game Injustice. So th there was a reason why it sold so well. Fortnite Batman, another one, right? DC Comics trying to reach outside of the comic sphere to sell comics. And it worked now, actually because I noticed that the trade for it actually made the charts for DC, which is pretty rare for a modern trade. It's not so rare for Fortnite players, though, because I think there was a, a skin that you had to get by buying the comic. Uh, yeah, well, so there, there is that there was a little bit of a buy this comic to, to get this downloadable skin. I don't play Fortnite, so I might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what I was told. So with today, what do we got here? Well, Batman and FaZe Clan, we know it's going to be a winning comic book because you open it with a Gil Simone quote. If you need to stop an asteroid, you call Superman. If you need to solve a mystery, you call Batman. If you need to end a war, you call Wonder Woman. So we begin with Gil Simone and here we are. Today, we have this um, gamer team. And they even have, uh, kind of like, you know, when they say Avengers Assemble, they say phase up, I guess. Yeah, so I don't understand the point of this. Does Batman, like, need to know what type of uh, COD loadout he needs for Warzone or something? Like, what, what, why would he need to team up with some gamers? The breakdown is that uh, the Riddler is involved. So, you know, it's obviously Batman has to be involved. And he came up with this game system, which is... Kind of mirroring the whole PlayStation 5 debacle. Oh, people are trying to buy it, but scalpers are selling for thousands of dollars. But when you get into it, you get sucked into that VR world and you stay stuck in there forever. Ever, ever, ever. And uh, why not? We got penguins scalping like uh, PS5s and alleyways. Uh, obviously, this makes sense. It's very fluid with the Batman dynamics in Gotham City. I and don't know. Yeah. I, it's all BS to me. This is just the DC Comics website you can see. And they basically give you a rundown of all the characters, the face clan people. You have Apex, and you have Banks, and you have Rain. Obviously, all, you know, code names, Temper, Rug, Blaze, and Adept. I want to point out some of these um, interesting dialogue here that they try to get, you know, gamer lingo. This is a gamer issue. Batman's a dinosaur. What could he even do? Here's something that people who play shooters will remember. Argo, tell me you can clip that. Honey, did you remember to save that clip? Did I save that clip? Yeah, that's what oh. she would sometimes yell at me. He'll be like, can I can I just save that clip? And I'll be like, I don't know. Do you have enough memory on your PlayStation? Mm. So yeah, they're using all these what they call gamers lingo in here. Your power saved you, but Robin took a big blow. And that's big just blow. built. That's built. Yeah, all right. And um, some very weird um, dubious technology stuff too. Jokers make copies of himself. I'm sending you a heartbeat scanner to find a real one. Oh, that sounds like one of those crazy Arkham Asylum like side missions. That that's the thing. Batman just goes into a side mission. There you go. Yeah, they're getting roasted online for this bad bad comic. Now, uh, the interesting part about these type of licensed comics is they actually get the approval of the people working on it. And now I, I've done some stuff with Dodge. Uh, it, actually, it was like a Dodge truck for Superman, Man of Steel. And I had to go through Dodge and get approval for everything I'm drawing, the hat the person's wearing. So this comic, there's a reason this comic is this, this bad. The writer, number one, the, the writer of the book, but also probably FaZe Clan themselves. I'm going to bet that they had a lot to do with the approval and the dialogue and some of the things being said and uh, that that was part of the condition for them either paying for their likenesses in the book or having their likenesses drawn in the book. Uh, not just that they have to show people, you know, when you're an elite gamer, you live the lifestyle of the rich and famous. Kind of like, you know, when they have those TikTok frat houses. So mm -hmm. FaZe Clan has their own FaZe Clan headquarters in Hollywood that Batman has to go visit. Yeah. And of course, all the cringy, weird dialogue that says, we are gamers, we are superior. You know, I think even just 20 years ago, if you said, oh, I'm a gamer, people would be like, ha ha. Yeah. But now it's like um, a badge of honor, it seems. Well, I mean, I like games. I mean, I'm, I play games too, but I mean, I don't I don't like, say I'm a gamer. Don't even say I'm a YouTuber. I'm a comic artist. You're coming into the comic field, bringing some comic game. You got to represent. You got to you got to get your got to level up. Can you understand that, Phase Clan? You need to level up. What what else we got here? Well, we have basically what I explained was the concept of this comic book. <laughs> And people are saying it's marketed to its gamers. I mean, if yeah, people are... See, here's the thing. Face Clan actually over here, they're telling you to go into the comic shops to buy this book. Mm -hmm. So they are trying to direct people to go and buy it there in the shops itself. But 
is there really enough interest for I'm, famous here's, to walk in? here's the thing I, and i really gotta probably end the video on this i'm not so sure dc comics isn't paying them to do this they're saying go into comic shops and stuff like that i don't know who needs who more does face clan need dc comics does face clan want to be in a batman comic or is batman running up to face clan saying can you please be in a comic book can you please and this is what's sad is there used to be good type of publicity like this, like the famous Superman Muhammad Ali comic, right? Things like that. This this obviously does not look like that comic. It does not look like it's drawn well like the Neil Adams book. And honestly, Muhammad Ali was like a household name. I'm not so sure FaZe Clan is everybody on the streets going to know who they are. So, Well, Tim Drake apparently knows who they are. So Yeah. I he can't... knows all the boys, yo. Oh my god, guys! I'm like your biggest fan. Is he getting ready to squeeze his his muscly arm? Oh yeah, he totally is. Actually, oh my god, come on, Tim! Look, just because your bite doesn't mean you got hit on everybody. Uh, no, he's got a sneak of fill. Oh boy. Uh, all right, Tim. Do better, Tim. Do better, please. And if you guys will talking about doing better, Inglorious Rex, two hundred and fifty one thousand five hundred thirty one dollars, getting ready to be working on up to to two hundred and fifty two thousand dollars. Now this campaign has passed a quarter of a million dollars and i didn't have to go to esports to do it look down below there is a link in the description this book is working out really well uh the bigger the fight the bigger the punch i will leave you guys with a trailer for inglorious wreck oh. oh. yeah Pardon me in my tone. You can't step to my throne. They ain't working like me. I did this on my own. You asking where we been? I, I don't know where to begin. I, all this dirt on my skin. I just came here to win. I'm more than a man, I'm a monster. Somebody call a pastor, doctor. I got a success for imposters. So now I'm coming for the whole roster. It's not a game, why you playing with me? You could double back, lose track, try and hang with me. It must be in my brains. Something you can't tame, cause I break the game. Can't control me. I got the power. I got the power.